Hi, this is Rachel from Happy Girl Design Co. and I'm here to show you how to edit your Color Street signs. So these signs come in two different sizes, the 5x7 and the 8x10. And they also come with two different application instructions. One is the traditional uh, Color Street application where you file the excess nail strip off with a nail file. And then I've had lots of customers say, could you please make me a sign or application that's showing how to perforate it with your fingernail and remove the excess strip by perforating and then kind of gently tearing the nail strip away. So I went ahead and made pictures for that process here. So that's the difference between the two signs. So I'm going to show you how to edit the sign now. So I have one open here and it's really easy to do. You can zoom in on it by clicking this lower left zoom button. You can change anything on the sign. You can make this logo bigger, you can make it smaller, you can delete it, you can move it, you can change any of this font here by just clicking on it twice and then just backspace over it, um, type whatever you want. Maybe you have a tagline that you want to put here and you can also change the font so you highlight it and then you can come up to the font picker and you can choose any one of these fonts here now the color street preferred fonts are loaded in here for you also this is one of them the op officio and then dancing um, let's see where is it there is Dancing Script, um, there's a Helvetica, and there's one other one that's in here for you that is a Color Street Preferred font. So you can choose to use those or you can choose any of these fonts here. You can even change the color by highlighting and then say you want purple. You can change that. Um, you can So you can change any of this. Um, one really great thing about this sign is you can change the text that goes with each of these little photos here. So say for instance you prefer it to say strip, then you just type in strip. And you can also move these around. You can change them, you can delete them, change the order. Yeah, and you can basically do anything you want to change this sign. When you're all done, click File, Save. And then if you're going to print it at home, you can click Download PDF choose show trim marks and save paper and download. I save to my desktop on my computer so it's really easy to find so let's put it there. Now if you're going to send this over to Staples or some online printer you want to download it as a JPEG and then click download. and I'm going to save that to my desktop. So let's go take a look and see what we downloaded here. Okay, so here is our sign. This is the JPEG. So this is the version if you want to take it into Staples and have them print it, you'd print. Or if you want to print it at home, here is a PDF file. And let's see if I can make this smaller. Let's see, fit height, okay, so there you see it's got little trim marks for you. So if you stick right on those trim marks, it'll be exactly eight by 10. And um, that is all there is to editing and printing those signs. If you do print at home and you print it on glossy photo paper, it looks really, really pretty. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Just send me a message on Etsy and I'm happy to help. Okay, thanks.